Hello students and good morning. So now I am doing class for class uh, tool science. The topic is second order derivative. So in the last online class also we were doing the same topic and we did some problems on second order derivative. So today we will do more problems on second order derivative. Same exercise, exercise 4, page number 300 and, uh, 322 and each question carries 4 marks section. Okay. Uh, the book is the book used here is the same book that is uh, Higher Mathematics for class 12 by SND. Right? So let's do this question number 24 that is each question carries 4 marks section. Question number 24 is eliminate A and B. You have to eliminate A and B from the first problem. That is y is equal to A log x plus B. This is the first problem. In number 2 from number 2 also you have to eliminate A and B. And in number 3 also you have to eliminate a and b from x y is equal to a x square plus b divided by x. Okay. So now in this case since there are two constant here a and b. You have to eliminate a and b from this equation. That is you have to form the differential equation. Actually the question is you have to form the differential equation eliminating a and b. So, the question is, you have to form the differential equation eliminating a and b from the given equation y is equal to a log x plus b. This is the two constants. What do you have Second order derivative. You have to get the equation in terms of first order derivative and second order derivative if the two constants are there. यदि एउटै मात्रै कन्स्टेन्ट छ भने फर्स्ट अर्डर डेरिभेटिभ बडै निस्किहाल्छ यु क्यान एलिमिनेट दैट वन अफ द कन्स्टेन्ट यदि दुईटा कन्स्टेन्ट छ भने चाहिँ यु ह्याभ टु फर्म द सेकेन्ड अर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेसन इज दैट क्लियर एउटा मात्रै कन्स्टेन्ट छ र तिमीलाई त्यो कन्स्टेन्ट हटाउनु भने भने यु क्यान फर्म द फर्स्ट अर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेसन इज दैट क्लियर सो इफ यु आर आस्क्ड टु एलिमिनेट द टु कन्स्टेन्ट दैट इज ए एन्ड बी you have to form the second order differential equation. Is that clear to all of you? So in this case, the question may be form the differential equation eliminating A and B from the given equation. Okay. So let's do question number one first. So y is equal to A log x plus B. Okay. So you have to eliminate A and B from this equation. So here B matai sa, ela difference ero B ko difference is in zero by also. Yota aati go, ainiya. So let us write down here differentiating both the sides. So differentiating both the sides with respect to x. Okay. So what is the differentiation of y with respect to x? It is dy by dx. Here a is constant into what is the differentiation of log x? It is one by x. And plus, what is the differentiation of this constant b? That is 0. Is that clear? Now, again, you have to differentiate it to eliminate a. But before that, cross multiply by x. Or x into dy by dx, which is equal to a. Now, you can differentiate both the sides with respect to x. So that this right hand side will be 0. a will be eliminated. So in the first order differential equation, b is eliminated. Again, you differentiate both the sides with respect to x to eliminate a, right? So again, again, differentiating both the sides, both the sides with respect to x, right? So therefore, now differentiate x into dy by dx. You can use uv rule here because this is the product of two functions, right? So x is kept as it is. Now differentiate dy by dx with respect to x, which is d2y by dx squared. Plus, now differentiate x keeping dy by dx same. So differentiation of x with respect to x is 1. So 1 into dy by dx is always dy by dx, which is equal to, what is the differentiation of a with respect to x? It is 0. So we have eliminated a and b from the given equation so this is the required differential equation in which a and b are eliminated so this is the final answer is that clear 
Now we'll do the next problem that is number two. You can copy it. So now we'll do the next question that is question number two. You have to eliminate a and b from the second given equation that is xy is equal to ax cube plus b. You have to eliminate a and b from this equation xy is equal to ax cube plus b. That means you have to form the differential equation. You have to form the differential equation eliminating a and b from the given equation. Okay. So here also since b is only there you can differentiate it to eliminate b. So differentiating both the sides, differentiating both the sides with respect to x. Now differentiate x, y with respect to x, you have to use uv rule because both are the variables here, both are the functions here which are variables. So therefore keeping x as it is, differentiate y with respect to x, dy by dx. Plus, now keeping y as it is, differentiate x with respect to x. What is the differentiation of x with respect to x? That is 1. So it is y into 1 is y. So which is equal to a is constant remains as it is. What is the differentiation of x cube? This is your 3x squared. And plus b. What is the differentiation of d by dx of b? That is always 0. So or this is your x into dy by dx. Okay. dy by dx plus y is equal to this is your 3ax square so i think you have understood it okay so now in the next step what will you do now in the next step what will you do now so here again you differentiate both the sides with respect to x so let us mark it as number one okay so again how many like here so differentiate garso so again differentiating both the sides again differentiating both the sides with respect to x okay so now differentiate x into dy by dx this is the product of two functions you have to use uv rule or the product rule for this differentiation so x is kept as it is differentiate dy by dx with respect to x d2y by dx square plus now keeping dy by dx as it is take the differentiation of x with respect to x which is 1 so it is dy by dx so this is the differentiation of the first function plus next y is there what is the differentiation of y with respect to x it is dy by dx which is equal to on the right hand side here 3a is constant you have to keep it as it is now differentiate x squared with respect to x that is your 2x so I think you have understood it. So or now what is there on the left hand side? It is x into d2y by dx square x into d2y by dx square plus dy by dx plus dy by dx is 2 into dy by dx which is equal to on the right hand side you have to write 3 to z you can multiply, multiply them. Uh, this is 3 to z 6 ax this is your 6ax let us mark it number two but in this case you have to eliminate a isn't it so you can eliminate a from two with the help of number one so with the help of number one only you can eliminate a that means how can you eliminate a from these two equations you have to divide two by one if you divide 2 by 1 or 1 by 2 this 6ax divided by 3ax in this case a will be cancelled that is a is eliminated that means you have to divide 2 by 1 or 1 by 2 they like that number dividing 2 by 1 got the number dividing 1 by 2 got the number so in order to eliminate a you have to divide 2 by 1 or 1 by 2 so let us write here dividing 2 by 1 okay so you divide 2 by 1 1 lay 2 lay divide go no so write down left hand side or number 2 in the numerator that is x into d2y by dx square plus 
2 into dy by dx divided by <coughs> now in the denominator you have to write down left hand side row number one that is x into dy by dx x into dy by dx plus y which is equal to now on the right hand side you have to write right uh, you have to write down right hand side of number two what is right hand side of number two that is 6ax divided by in the denominator you have to write down right hand side of number one that is 3ax squared that is your 3ax squared so if you divide then only you can cancel this a a, a, a gets cancelled this is 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6, here also x and square gets cancelled. So write down the remaining terms or what do we get? x into d2y by dx square, okay? Uh, then write down plus 2 dy by dx divided by x into dy by dx plus y is equal to, how much is that? It is 2 divided by, this is only 2 divided by only x. So it is 2 divided by x. Is that clear? Now you can do cross multiplication. Now let's do cross multiply. So now you can do cross multiplication. Now cross multiply by x there, x into x, x square d2y by dx square. Then comes plus 2x dy by dx. 2x dy by dx is equal to now cross mul multiply by 2 and write it on the right hand side what do we get 2x dy by dx plus 2 into y is that is your 2y is that clear to all of you from both the sides you can cancel these similar terms 2x dy by dx right so or x square d2y by dx square is equal to what is it to y this is the required eliminant or in this differential equation we have eliminated a and b so this is the final answer so is that clear to all of you so we have formed the differential equation eliminating a and b from the given equation that is x y is equal to a x cube plus b is that clear to all of you so you can copy it we'll do the next question that is question number three okay So now we'll do the next question that is uh, question number three. So here also you have to eliminate a and b from the given equation that is number three x y is equal to a x square plus a x square plus b upon x a x square plus b upon x okay. So in this case also from this equation you have to eliminate a and b that means you have to form the differential equation you have to form the differential equation eliminating a and b from this equation okay so let us simplify it first take the LCM on the right hand side or this is your x y is equal to what's the LCM here it is x so numerator becomes a x cube plus this is your b now cross multiply x into x is x square y is equal to a x cube plus b is that clear to all of you so now you can use the same method as we have done in number two you can form the differential equation eliminating a and b by using the method that we have done in question number two i mean question number two man the same method use there so this is gone we can differentiate both the sides with respect to x right so differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to x okay so now use uv rule here x square into y this is the product of two functions you know uv rule isn't it now Keeping x square as it is, take the differentiation of y with respect to x, it is dy by dx. Plus, now keeping y as it is, take the differentiation of x square, 
that is 2x what is the differentiation of x square with respect to x that is 2x and y is kept as it is which is equal to on the right hand side a is kept as it is because it is constant what is the differentiation of x cube it is 3x square is that clear to all of you so or now we have here x square dy by dx plus 2xy is equal to this is your 3ax square so let us mark it number one so i think you have understood it so again you have to differentiate it both the sides with respect to x now write down again differentiating again you have to differentiate this equation one again so again differentiating both the sides again differentiating both the sides with respect to x again differentiating both the sides with respect to x therefore now for x square into d by dx you have to use differentiation of uv rule or differentiation of product rule you know that so keeping x square as it is take the differentiation of dy by dx it is d2y by dx square plus now keeping dy by dx as it is take the differentiation of x square with respect to x what is the differentiation 2x into dy by dx is that clear to all of you plus again 2 is constant here but you have to use uv rule for x y okay so 2x is kept as it is take the differentiation of y with respect to x it is dy by dx that is 2x is kept as it is take the differentiation of y with respect to x that is dy by dx now keeping 2y as it is take the differentiation of x with respect to x what is the differentiation of x with respect to x that is 1 so plus only 2y is there which is equal to understood now 2y is kept as it is what is the differentiation of x with respect to x that is 1 so 2y into 1 is 2y so which is equal to now 3a is constant 3a is kept as it is what is the differentiation of x square with respect to x it is 2x it is 2x i think you have understood it so now let us simplify it further x square into d2y by dx square plus uh, you can add those second and third term these are similar terms what is their addition it is 4x into dy by dx plus 2y is equal to 3 to the 6ax you can multiply them so it is 6ax so let us mark it as number 2 is that understood now so from 2 and 1 with the help of 1 you can eliminate a here with the help of 2 and 1 both you can eliminate a that is you have to divide 2 by 1 so you 2 row 1 divide by 1 you cancel you have to eliminate a and b from the given equation to form the given to form the differential equation okay so let us write here dividing dividing 2 by 1 so dividing 2 by 1 what do we get now so therefore write down left hand side of number 2 in the numerator x square d2y by dx square plus 4x dy by dx plus 2y whole divided by now write down left hand side of number one in the denominator what is this what is there in the denominator now left hand side of number one what is it x square dy by dx x square dy by dx plus 2xy plus 2xy which is equal to now on the right hand side you write down right hand side of number two that is 6ax divided by right hand side of number one dividing by right hand side of number one you should write it in the denominator that is 3ax square that is your 3ax square is that clear so you can cancel here now x and square gets cancels 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 here aa gets cancels right so now so write down the remaining terms again that is x square d2y by dx square then plus 4x dy by dx 4x dy by dx plus 2y 
this whole divided by x square dy by dx plus 2xy which is equal to on the right hand side you can write here 2 upon x that is your 2 upon x so I think you have understood it so on the right hand side the remaining terms are 2 upon x now cross multiply again now cross multiply by x here or oh, this is your x cube d2y by dx square right then plus 4x square 4x square dy by dx right plus 2xy which is equal to on the right hand side what can you write on the right hand side cross multiply by 2 here 2x square dy by dx 2x square dy by dx as there is no space out here I write it down here plus yeah tall body like this plus 2 like cross multiply 4xy so I think you have understood it okay now here you can take common out here on the left hand side x is common on the right hand side also x is common you can cancel them as x not equal to 0 in this case okay so here x is taken common within bracket x square d2y by dx square right plus 4x dy by dx plus here x is common 2y is equal to here also here also you can take x common you take only x common here 2 is common here but take only x only x will be cancelled out here not 2 so take only x common so x is common here 2x dy by dx plus 4y so as x not equal to 0 since x not equal to 0 in this case you can cancel this x okay so now let us simplify it write down the remaining terms again so what are the remaining terms now or x square d2y by dx square this is the first term what is the second term plus 4x dy by dx plus 4x dy by dx then plus 2y plus 2y is equal to on the right hand side you have to write 2x dy by dx 2x dy by dx then plus 4y then plus 4y okay now you have to simplify it now take all the terms to the left hand side making right hand side 0 or x square d2y by dx square plus 4x dy by dx plus 2y now take 2x dy by dx on the left hand side so it is minus 2x dy by dx plus 4y becomes minus 4y on the left hand side which is equal to 0 or now this is x square d2y by dx square is that clear next plus 4x dy by dx minus 2x dy by dx it is plus 2x dy by dx is that clear to all of you then what is that plus 2y minus 4y that is your minus 2y which is equal to 0 so which is the required eliminant that is we have eliminated a and b from the uh, third given equation that is we have formed the differential equation eliminating a and b from the given equation so what is the eliminant here it is x square into d2y by dx square plus 2x dy by dx minus 2y is equal to 0 so this is the answer is it clear now so you can copy it now we'll do the next question so now we'll do the next question that is question number one from five marks section same exercise exercise four page number is 322 if y is equal to root over x plus one minus root over x minus one you have to prove that x square minus one into d2y by dx square plus x dy by dx is equal to one fourth y 
So from given, you have to prove this required relation in terms of first order derivative and second order derivative. Okay. So let's do this question now. Given here is, here given is y is equal to root over x plus 1 minus root over x minus 1. Let us differentiate it. Differentiating both the sides. Differentiating both the sides with respect to x. So it is dy by dx is equal to, how can you differentiate it? How can you differentiate this right hand side? Uh, this first term can be differentiated with the help of root over x. You can take it as root over x. What is the differentiation of root over x? 1 by 2 root over, this is x plus 1. So which function was taken as x? x plus 1 because it is differentiated as root over x. So what is the differentiation of root over x? It is 1 by 2 root over x. Which function was taken as x? x plus 1. Again, you have to differentiate that x plus 1 with respect to x, which is equal to 1. Minus. Again, how will you differentiate root over x minus 1? You can take it as root over x. Which function is taken as x? x minus 1. So what is the differentiation of root over x? 1 by 2 root over x. Here is x minus 1 into again differentiate the term which is assumed as x here x minus 1 is assumed as x so what is the differentiation of x minus 1 it is for x it is 1 minus for 1 it is 0 1 minus 0 is always 1 okay so again you have to differentiate it before that simplify the right hand side or dy by dx is equal to what's the lcm here 2 2 lcm is 2 root over x plus 1 into root over x minus 1 so this lcm is divided by 2 root over x plus 1 2 root over x plus 1 2 root over x plus 1 gets cancelled it remains root over x minus 1 so root over x minus 1 into 1 is root over x minus 1 minus again this lcm is divided by 2 root over x minus 1 here 2 root over x minus 1 gets cancelled it remains root over x plus 1 so root over x plus 1 into 1 is root over x plus 1 is that clear so from given we have got the value for root over x plus 1 minus root over x minus 1 which is equal to y but here it is root over x minus 1 minus root over x plus 1 so in this case you have to make it root over x plus 1 minus root over x minus 1 you can make it by taking minus common here so or this is your dy by dx is equal to minus is taken common so within bracket what do we have root over x plus 1 minus root over x minus 1 divided by 2 into now you can multiply these two factors what is root over a into root over b it is root over a b similarly what is root over x plus 1 into root over x minus 1 it is root under it is root under this will be x plus 1 into x minus 1 so i think you have understood it okay so you can copy it now we'll do the next step now so now you can simplify right hand side again or this is your dy by dx which is equal to minus so what will you write instead of root over x plus 1 minus root over x minus 1 it is y it is y divided by 2 root over you can multiply them 2 root over what is x plus 1 into x minus 1 it is just like your a plus b into a minus b which is a square minus b square so it is x square minus 1 is that clear to all of you so now again you have to differentiate this function with respect to x to prove the required relation but before that you have to simplify it now cross multiply by root over here so root over x square minus 1 into dy by dx which is equal to minus y by 2. So again if you eliminate square root it will be easier for you to differentiate it. So how can you remove square root? You have to square both the sides to eliminate square root on the left hand side. So squaring both the sides. So squaring both the sides. So squaring both the sides, what do we get? So here square root will be removed. So this is your x square minus 1. So what is whole square of dy by dx? This is your dy by dx whole square 
that means dy by dx whole square means dy by dx into dy by dx is equal to square you can square this right hand side that is what is minus y by 2 whole square minus whole square is plus so it is y square upon 4 so I think you have understood it so now it will be easier for you to differentiate both the sides with respect to x now write down again differentiating both the sides again differentiating both the sides with respect to x is that clear to all of you so you can copy it so now we'll differentiate we will differentiate both the sides with respect to x okay so now what do we get now so on the left hand side on the left hand side here you can use uv rule x square minus 1 is one other function dy by dx whole square is another function right so here also you have to use uv rule because this is the product of two functions so keeping x square minus 1 as it is take the differentiation of dy by dx whole square so what is it you can take it as x square what is the differentiation of x square it is 2 into what is x here dy by dx again you have to differentiate the term which is assumed as x here which term was assumed as x dy by dx what is this differentiation it is d2y by dx square then plus sign okay now keeping dy by dx whole square as it is take the differentiation of the first function that is x square minus 1 so what is the differentiation of x square it is 2x and for minus 1 it is minus 0 you don't have to write it and keep keep dy by dx whole square as it is which is equal to on the right hand side take the differentiation of y square 1 fourth is constant remains same into what is the differentiation of y square 2y into dy by dx so i think you have understood it now is there any common on the left hand side yes what is common there 2 into dy by dx this is dy by dx whole square means dy by dx into dy by dx so here 2 into 2 into dy by dx is taken common so within second bracket what do we have x square minus 1 into d2y by dx square then plus your 2 is taken common and one of these dy by dx is taken common so it remains x into dy by dx second bracket closed which is equal to 1 fourth into 2y into this is your dy by dx so i think you have understood it we have taken common uh, from the left hand side so you can cancel here 2 2 gets cancels and dy by dx also gets cancelled since here 2 dy by dx not equal to 0 2 not equal to 0 as well as dy by dx not equal to 0 so what are the remaining terms here now this is x square minus 1 into d2y by dx square plus x into dy by dx which is equal to this is your 1 fourth y so is it correct now check the answer now we have to prove x square minus 1 d2y by dx square plus x dy by dx is equal to 1 fourth y so that required relation is proved so write down it is proved so this question is very very important okay so you can practice it at home you can copy it now we'll do the next question now so now we'll do the next question that is uh, question number two if y is equal to cos inverse x whole square it is given that y is equal to cos inverse x whole square prove that you have to prove the relation 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square minus x dy by dx minus 2 is equal to 0 so in the first part you have to prove this relation and in the second part hence you have to find out the value for y2 y2 means d2y by dx square when x is equal to 0 is that clear to all of you so let us prove the first part now so here given is 
y is equal to cos inverse x whole square so you can differentiate both the sides with respect to x so differentiating both the sides differentiating both the sides with respect to x okay so therefore dy by dx is equal to what is this differentiation so what is this differentiation so it is just like your x square what is the differentiation of x square 2x 2 into cos inverse x into again you have to differentiate the term which is assumed as x cos inverse x line x suppose there go the cos inverse x line I differentiate gonna parsa that is minus 1 upon root over 1 minus x square so minus 1 upon root over 1 minus x square is the differentiation of cos inverse x is that clear so now we can do cross multiplication here or root over 1 minus x square into dy by dx which is equal to minus 2 cos inverse x is that clear to all of you so now remove the square root so removing the square root it will be easier for you to differentiate okay so what will you do squaring both the sides squaring squaring both the sides so squaring both the sides what do we get therefore 1 minus square 1 minus x square that is square root is removed here into dy by dx whole square is equal to on the right hand side what is minus 2 cos inverse x whole square minus whole square is plus and 2 whole square is 4 and it is cos inverse x whole square this is your cos inverse x whole square so i think you have understood it so instead of this cos inverse x whole square you can write y here because it is given that cos inverse x whole square is equal to y so or this is 1 minus x square into dy by dx whole square which is equal to this is your 4y okay now you can differentiate both the sides with respect to x again right so again differentiating again differentiating both the sides both the sides with respect to x okay so you can use uv rule here keeping 1 minus x square as it is take the differentiation of dy by dx whole square so you know that it is 2 into dy by dx into d2y by dx square right then next now keeping dy by dx whole square as it is take the differentiation of 1 minus x square so it will be plus so what is the differentiation of 1 minus x square it is 1 minus 1 minus x square co differentiation got you 0 minus 2x so it is minus 2x and you have to keep dy by dx whole square as it is so it is dy by dx whole square which is equal to 4 into take the differentiation of y with respect to x which is dy by dx is that clear to all of you so now uh, take common here what is common in this case from the left hand side 2 into dy by dx so here 2 into dy by dx is taken common so within second bracket what do we get it is 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square plus or minus minus 2 comes in the front that is 2 is taken common here and one of these dy by dx is taken common here so here it is minus x into dy by dx second bracket closed is equal to it is 4 into dy by dx is that clear now so here you can cancel dy by dx 2 and 4 will be cancelled this is 2 to the 4 so write down the remaining terms what are the remaining terms out here so it is or 1 minus x square into d2y by dx square then minus x into dy by dx uh, which is equal to 2 since in this case 2 into dy by dx is not equal to 0 so you can cancel it right since dy by dx not equal to 0 so we got this relation okay now 2 take it to the left hand side 
और वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर इंटू डी टू वाई बाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स इंटू डी वाई बाई डी एक्स माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज इट प्रूव नाउ वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर इंटू डी टू वाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स डी वाई डी एक्स माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो इट इज डन प्रूव्ड प्रूव्ड ओके नाउ दिस इज योर फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव डन द फर्स्ट पार्ट Now what is the second part? Hence you have to find out y2 when x is equal to zero. So in this case you put x is equal to zero. So putting x is equal to zero. You put x is equal to zero here. One minus zero square is zero into d two y dx square means y2 minus x here is zero into d y dx means y1 minus two is equal to zero. Okay. Now let's simplify it further. So let us simplify it further now. So one into y two, that is your y two. This is minus zero into y two minus zero minus zero into y two zero into y one minus zero into y one is zero minus two is taken to the right hand side, which is equal to two. Or this is your y two is equal to two. So when x is equal to zero, what is the value for y two? So y two is equal to two. So I think you have understood it. So we can copy it. Now we'll do the next question now. So now we'll do the next question. That is uh, three number one. If y is equal to e to the power x log x. Prove that x y two minus within bracket two x minus one into y one plus x minus one into y is equal to zero. As you know that y one is d y by d x, y two is d two y by d x square. So from given you have to prove the required relation. Okay. So here given here is y is equal to e to the power x log x. Now you have to find out first d y by d x. Take the differentiation with respect to x on both the sides here. So differentiating both the sides, differentiating both the sides with respect to x, right? So therefore, dy by dx is equal to u z u v rule, right? So e to the power x is kept as it is. Take the differentiation of log x, one by x, plus. Now keeping log x as it is, take the differentiation of e to the power x. This is your UV rule, right? So uh, differentiation of e to the power x is e to the power x, and uh, keep log x as it is. Is that clear? So or this is your dy by dx is equal to this is e to the power x upon x plus. So instead of e to the power x log x, again you have to write y here. So I think you have understood it. So plus y take to the left hand side. So it is dy by dx minus y is equal to e to the power x upon x. So I think you have understood it. Now cross multiply by x here. You can do cross multiplication by x here. So or this is your x into dy by dx. This is your x into dy by dx minus x y. Minus x y, which is equal to e to the power x, which is equal to e to the power x. So is that clear to all of you? So let us mark it as number one because we may use the value of e to the power x in order to prove this relation. Okay. So now again differentiate both the sides with respect to x. So differentiating both the sides. So differentiating. Both the sides with respect to x. Okay, so therefore use U V rule for the first term. X into d by d x. This is the product of two functions. Use U V rule here or product rule here. X is kept as it is. Take the differentiation of d y d y by d x with respect to x. It is d two y by d x square plus. Again, keeping d y by d x as it is, take the differentiation of x with respect to x, which is one. So it is only d y by d x minus. Now keep it within second bracket. Minus. Take the differentiation of x y with respect to x 
and write it within bracket because there is minus sign here. So you have to use UV rule x into dy by dx plus y is kept as it is. Take the differentiation of x with respect to x which is 1. So here second bracket is closed. Is that clear? For x, y also while differentiating you have to use UV rule or product rule. So which is equal to what is the differentiation of e to the power x? It is e to the power x. Okay. So let us simplify it or x into d2y by dx square plus this is your dy by dx minus x into dy by dx so it is minus into plus is minus y is equal to so now in order to prove the required relation again from one you have to prove the value for e to the power x from one what is the value for e to the power x it is x into dy by dx right it is x into dy dx minus xy so it is minus xy so i think you have understood it now you can prove the required relation now take all the terms to the left hand side making you have to make the right hand side zero so or x into d2y by dx square right plus dy by dx then write down this term minus x into dy by dx then take x dy by dx to the left hand side it becomes minus x into dy by dx and next minus y plus minus xy it becomes plus on the left hand side so it is plus xy which is equal to zero so i think you have understood it so now let us simplify it again so or x into d2y by dx square right so minus x d by dx minus x d by dx same sign you can add them similar terms minus 2x dy by dx then write down this term that is plus dy by dx is that clear so next one is you first write plus xy then minus y which is equal to zero i mean can you xy then write down minus y okay so now here or x into d2y by dx square so what is common here dy by dx is common here so also you can take minus common here so within bracket what do we get 2x minus into plus minus 1 into now here dy by dx is taken common that is minus dy by dx is taken common so what do we get within bracket 2x minus 1 okay plus here what is common y is common so within bracket x minus 1 into y which is equal to 0 so i think you have understood it so now replace d2 y by dx square by y2 and dy by dx is y1 isn't it dy by dx one got here y1 d2 y by dx square go y2 or this is your x y2 minus 2x minus 1 into what is dy by dx it is y1 plus x minus 1 into y which is equal to 0 so it is proved is that understood now so we have proved the required result okay so uh, this much is for today so you revise all the problems that we did today i mean is the thing as a problem so we're going to so for revision going to so for the next online class i mean also your second order derivative man your second order derivative man i mean or they to pray problems are going to solve. So this much is for today.